poly polyamer. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I think so. But it is such a cute, cute little quaint town so far, and it's so lovely out. It's so lovely. Coastal town. Yeah. That it looks like honestly a little bit like Lisbon, Portugal, when we turn on it. But it's beautiful. The, the weather is so nice, and we're so excited to get away from London for a bit. <laughs> it's so pretty here. And it's really like picturesque. And they were saying it's really busy because of the Red Bull competition. Yeah. But it's still like, I mean, look, compared to London, it's like it's so crazy. quiet. At the end, there's a lot of people there right now. We're not really dressed for the occasion. I mean, I'm kind of like nude. <laughs> you can <laughs> always nude. hike your... My stuff up? Yeah. So like a mini dress? Yeah, that's what oh. I would do. Wait, can you do that? I just like take my straps off. That was cute. Is it actually cute though? Yeah. <laughs> we just hiked up the skirt. We felt so. a little um, exposed. A little exposed. In the streets. <laughs> I'll put it back down, honestly. But look, stop, these are gonna be... Best picture. We're on the hunt for a towel because I did not pack one and we only have a shower towel pretty much, not a beach towel. gonna go try to find a beach it is Red Bull cliff diving weekend which is why it's so busy at the famous beach that we wanted to go to <laughs> but that's okay we're gonna go try to find another one I just bought a towel I found one and it was only 12 euros which is great First gelato of the trip. We got strawberry. And it's all vegan. So everything's vegan, even the waffle cone. May I got chocolate. Chocolate. Yum. <laughs> oh my god, this mm. is the best chocolate I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? We are going in and grabbing some groceries now at the local supermarket. are back in our Airbnb and I am already getting tan and we didn't even have a full beach day but it's because I'm on Accutane so that's like literally the only reason look how beautiful the golden hour is oh it's so pretty oh my gosh This part of the night is called Trip Advisor Reviews. Find food. Find brilliant dinner. Trip Advisor. The 10 best restaurants. Wait, I don't want them to be too nice. I don't want to shower not, and put yeah. makeup on. I just want to stumble down between alleyways, cheap wine, make believe it's champagne, champagne yeah. you know? <laughs> I was taken by the view. Like, like we were in Paris. Paris. <laughs> we were in Italy. <laughs> like we were, we were in. Pooh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like we need to make um, a playlist. <laughs> playlist. <laughs> I think we should make a playlist of like all the songs. Like songs we I can play. listen to on the trip. We're gonna have to say no though. No. <laughs> because okay. my playlists are so it's just Taylor Swift. It's just Taylor Swift. <laughs> Cause the only thing we're gonna put on that playlist is Taylor Swift. Is Taylor Swift, you and I. Yeah. Think true. about it. What else? Some Maybe country music? 
Okay. We have a... Oh, that's mm. right. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we. I know what you could, mean. Then. This could work. We could just get like five songs. <laughs> yeah, five songs. Like getting ready songs. Is that a playlist? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Second day, we're gonna be going to a beach, and then we have a boat excursion that we're doing at 4 p.m. We're loving it. This is our first full day, and then. I'm trying to show the outfit, yeah. It rained a little bit this morning, which is fine though. That's, that normally happens, you know, when we're in Florida or Georgia. It's always rainy in the morning and then the sun comes out around 10 or 11 and the sun is out around 10 or 11. <laughs> we're gonna go to this one beach. I forget the name of it. I'll put it right here, so don't worry. Y'all you'll, you'll will know where to go if you come and visit here. It's the cutest town ever and everything's really walkable, which is nice because you know, when you look like, when you book something after only seeing it online, you never know like how easy or hard it is to get around. Yeah. But it feels like very locally. Very so, walkable. Yeah, very walkable. Yeah. And we thought it wasn't gonna be walkable. Yeah. Because so many people are like, you know, you need a car if you're gonna go to Puglia and but we did it right. So we're staying yeah. in Paulino, a mayor, and then we're going to Monopoly. Yeah. Um, Monday. And I so think Monopoly today's Saturday. Our uh, Airbnb host was saying we can use all the buses to get around there. Yes. So that's also good to know that there is public transport if you want to travel. Yeah, and then we took a train from the airport as well. I forgot to describe that. We took a train to get here, but two trains, and it's like two hours maybe. We have another vlogger right here. I'm that's trying. <laughs> no, I love it. We're trying to motivate Maya to vlog a little bit more. Yeah. And be get, more comfortable vlogging, right? Yeah, I get kind of like embarrassed, which is really weird yeah. because I don't look at you and I'm like, that's embarrassing. I yeah. love like that you do it. Yeah. And I like wish I had that confidence, but we're getting it. But we're that learning. was me in the beginning. Yeah. Like in the beginning, I was very, very, very scared to even hold it up and talk and yeah, like, like see like myself through the, the streets camera. Of streets of London. Yeah. I'll be like, <laughs> every time someone comes around, I like hide it away. Yeah. I do that sometimes too though. You know, as you watch my vlog, sometimes I'm like, yeah. you know, it shows I'm like camera shy. I'm like, hi, like you're never ever gonna see Making these people that look at you well. ever again. <laughs> there are two really cute guys, really, really handsome, and they walked past us, and we like stared and you know looked a little bit, and then I'm like, I'm gonna go say hi, and Maya's like, No, no, no don't go. Did you have a video, video of yeah. me running to say yeah. hi? And I was like, You know what? Because they went past. I'm like, I should have said something. You know, if you see someone cute, you should say it. You never yeah, know. Yeah, true. And so that's what they did in the olden days. <laughs> yeah, the old, like yeah. you didn't have any, you know, social hinge, social, social media, and so Hazlet, Brooke Hazlet, and Kat, you were watching this, I shot my shot. Didn't I shoot my she shot? She shot her shot. I went up, so I said, excuse me. I was so me. impressed. What did you say? I said, excuse me. I said, where are y'all from? Or what's your name? Something like that. And then I said, where are y'all from? They're like, we're from Norway. They had a beautiful accent. The guys, they were like super cute. They were like really tall. You'll see in the video, right? You get the video? I don't know if you can see them. You can see them from afar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I said, well, I just want to let, tell you that I just think you're, you guys are really cute. And I told him that. <laughs> I said, I just thought you were really attractive. And they're like, oh, like, thank you. Like, same to you. Like, you're very attractive or whatever. And they're like, do you have a Snapchat? And I'm like, I don't do Snapchat. <laughs> That's like you high school, you know? Snapchat. Yeah. Look, I'm super flush now oh. and kind of shaky, but it's No, fine. that was a good, good exposure. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't have done that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Maya stayed back, and I'm the one who ran out, and I was just me by myself. I was like, no. High five. Yeah. <laughs> book as well I will show you it I'm very excited about it and it's a new series as well so I cannot wait to start reading it and I'll let you know how I like it Second gelato of the trip, and we got lemon and coconut. Mm. And the coconut is really good. Those guys that I went up to and said hi to, they followed me on Instagram, and now they're liking a lot of my pictures. And one of them commented and said snack, which is like 
super seventh grade. Like who uses the word snack nowadays? <laughs> You're, a snack. You're a snack. A whole meal. Snack. Scrumptiliantious. <laughs> snack. Yeah. Snack. Exclamation point. One out. I oh. <laughs> on my. Oh, it didn't go in your bikini. Yeah, thank goodness. I like to split up. Mm. Wait, look. <laughs> just before she comes back, but I just want to say, Izzy, I'm so glad we're doing this. I love spending time with you. It's so fun. And oh, already so many great memories made, and it's gonna be. The rest of them are gonna also be great. But yeah. I took a shower to get out some of the salt, but I'm sitting here reading this book and <laughs> I'm just giggling because it's just so cheesy. Like there's just some lines that, you know, I've been reading and it's just so cheesy, but it's, it's so good. Like I love it, I eat it. So, so it's about this girl and this guy and all in all, she hates him because he screwed her over, pretty much, like really bad. But he's super cute, super attractive, like she's obviously attracted to him in more, like so many ways. And like it's just him that like undoes her. And so I'm on page nine, very, very intro of the book. I'm so excited to read it. I'm literally here too on the balcony by myself, I'm giggling by myself, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. But it says, the story said his kiss was deadly to all except his one true love. And as he'd searched for her, he left a trail of corpses. She's gonna be his one true love. He kills girls and they kiss him because it's poisonous. But his one true love is the only one who he can kiss. <laughs> that is so cheesy. But I, I just got chills, it's so good. Like I just, I love the idea that like one girl one girl is gonna turn this bad boy, apparently bad boy, into this man of a man. <laughs> so this is this is where we are, this is what we're doing right now in Puglia. We're reading this book, but we're cooling down and then we're gonna go to the next beach because our boat got canceled. I think we're doing that tomorrow instead. Um, the weather should be better tomorrow. We're kind of chilling, it's midday, so it's super hot, and we both don't wanna get burnt. So we were like, let's go back, let's finish our pizza, have our lunch, and then cool off, get our body temperature back down to, you know, a good level, and then let's go to the next beach. And then we have dinner at eight, so we'll do that. But I'm really excited about this book. Like, I love that. And they, also, they call him the Prince of Hearts. <laughs> Jellyfish eggs. First of all, there's crabs too. So you can see that little guy. Hi. Woo. There you go. See the jellyfish eggs? They don't sting, but they feel weird. So they're all over. You can see them. They're all over here, but you can't really swim because it's kind of gross. Kind of uncomfortable. It feels like you know that aloe vera drink I showed you with all the aloe vera in the drink. That's what it feels like. It's like boba yeah. water, like boba sea. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> we got more. That's so good. We got more. They're so good. I mean, I have a full video of you like making out with the other one. We have oh, a yeah, I'm like, like, mm, like, oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, these are our outfits. put makeup on so that's really fun we need to find a place to finish do your tiktok yeah we're doing this tiktok um maybe if we finish it i'll insert it in the vlog yeah i but think it's gonna be a cute one i think it's gonna be really cute too but we're changing our outfits all the time now we are on the hunt for aperitivos 
we can we should we should maybe go to Old Town. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So I think the restaurant's near Old Town. Yeah. So we can sit there, have a drink before, and then. <laughs> you too. <laughs> A bella. Do you hear a bella? Oh, when geez. I was little, someone said That's that to so me cute. when I was in Italy, stood in the street, and I'm like, I'm not called Bella. I'm Maya. Why does everyone keep calling me Bella? Oh. It's so pretty right here. Get away, you mosquito. Mosquito tried to bite me. Oh, that was close. It was, it was right on my arm, and I got it out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Look at this picture. Wow, we grab a drink, and we've come to... We actually can't see the picture. This is normally the famous beach. That has all, in all the pictures, but it has Red Bull stuff on it from the cliff diving they're doing. Red Bull is everywhere. It's very American though. Imagine just thinking, like, hmm, what do I want my career to be? I know, jumping off cliffs. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? that every day of your life. That's to jump and have that stomach feeling. Oh, look how far down that is. Oh, the drone. The drone. that we have to go down they are scary i've been on the one on this trip forgetting literally everything i mean today i forgot my headphones and so i had to run back real quick before we got too far and then the other day i forgot sunscreen the other day i forgot snacks like i just i don't know why i keep forgetting things but this is the door so small and cute it is a new day. It thunderstormed a little bit last night, so we couldn't stay out all day. Our boat trip got canceled due to weather, and then we didn't reschedule it because I'm terrified of the <laughs> boat, and I kept getting anxious about it since they canceled the weather. Miss Maya, though, really wanted to go, and so I still feel terrible about it. Oh, no, but it's okay. also, you it looks do something that makes you not feel good. Yeah. Like, I'm ruining the rest of the day. Yeah. Okay. And water looked a little choppy this morning. Yeah. So it wasn't like we missed out on a beautiful, serene, serene, yeah. easy waters. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bird. We're having so much fun. So it's nice. so nice here. We did our Pilates bar, yeah. right? Stretching, all those kinds of things. And it's nice to move your body even if it's just for 20 minutes. Yeah. On the balcony. Yeah. We will be at the beach soon. Which is so good. I had 
pasta last night, but it gets so filling and my tummy starts hurting really bad. So I try to keep it simple throughout the day. Then tonight we're going and having it Japanese. We're gonna go have sushi. I'm really excited because it got really great reviews, really great reviews on TripAdvisor. So I think it's number six of restaurants here. Really excited to try that and kind of differentiate. But I'm definitely one of those people where I don't have to eat Italian when I'm in it. Like you, I don't have to eat the place. I do like to try things and just go back to different, like even if it's American food. I know a lot of people are like, let's go eat, we have to eat Italian if we're in Italy. But sometimes I just get tired of it, <laughs> I do. Even if you're in like Mexico, I know I like having, you know, my American cheeseburger when I'm in Mexico, but I love my tacos as well. So that's just how I roll. I made a mistake. Remember that book I showed y'all? Remember this book? This is the second book to the series. <laughs> And I'm like, there's so much description, and no, so normally when you start a fantasy series, you don't understand it, and you're just, you're getting into a new world, you're figuring out what's what, who's who, and that's what I thought I was at, where I was like, I just don't understand it because I think it's, you know, it's a new world, different people, but then like it started talking about the characters as if it already had development with them, and stuff happened, I'm like, wait, that's a big thing that happened, and they just brushed over that really quickly. Like I wanna, we should, we need to roll back. Like I was thinking it was a book and then later on it would slowly go back over time. It was like one of those books where you learn more and more as you go. And then your thoughts about the characters changes. But no, no, this is the second book of the series. So please, if you're watching this vlog, this is the second book. Go get the first book, which is Once Upon a Broken Heart is the first book. This one is the second one. And then there's a third one. So. I have my Kindle right now. I just downloaded the first book, so I'll be reading on my Kindle now. I'm so thankful I have my Kindle because I wouldn't have been able to read the first book and I'd be stuck without a book, which kind of stinks. So always have a backup plan when you're reading, you know, whether it's a Kindle book, if you can try to do it. But just FYI, this is the second book. It's not the first one. And I just, I just feel like an idiot because I should have looked more into it, but it's sort of hard. I looked it up, like before I even bought this one, I looked it up and it just, it said, I don't know why I thought this was the first one. It just wasn't clear. It wasn't clear on Safari or Google. It wasn't clear when I searched on the internet. So just FYI, but now I'm meeting Maya back out at the beach. So then we can, or the coast. I like to say coast, cause it's not technically a beach. The one that we were at, it has a small pebble beach to get into, but normally you're just hanging on the cliffs. So, and they're not that tall. So don't worry, I know, y'all know I have a fear of heights, but it's not, I'm not like on the very top, you know? But I'm about to go out. It's nice to have some AC, kind of cool down a little bit, recharge mentally and then technologically. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word. As you can see, I'm a little red. I just put some um, sunscreen on. I've been reapplying so much too because I'm on Accutane, as y'all know. So I've been trying so hard not to get burnt and I've been applying sunscreen like no other. So I've actually, I'm doing pretty good. I'm not even that tan, which is good. I'm trying to protect the skin, save the skin. So let's go back out. so salty over here. It's saltier than any other place that we've been, but it kind of hurts your feet. You were really rough in it here. So if you're going to come to Puglia, I really do suggest if you're going to Paulino Amer, where we are, to have those water shoes that you can grip rocks on because that's literally where you're walking. It's not beachy as you think it is. And it's pebbles if it is beaches. Now, Monopoly is a little bit more beachy and sandy. So, little tip for you if you are coming here and you're watching this vlog. Okay, we are going with natural hair tonight. We have a little bit of the fringe done. But other than that, it's a little, little natural. This top is from Brandy. This is the skirt. Let me show you the full fit. This is it. It's a bit restricted in the skirt, but we walk like this. We are going to get sushi, like I told y'all. This is the view we have right now. And here's the view on this side. 
this place has been absolutely lovely i absolutely recommend i had so much fun today i think that was my favorite spot i'll absolutely put exactly where everything is so if you are watching this and you're looking into Julia and going to the towns around we have not had to use a taxi or car recently we literally have just walked everywhere there's three beaches near us and we've been traveling and viewing which ones we like the best it's doable within three days i think it's a short weekend is good i don't know if you should do longer than that i don't Think that would be as fun for me personally but you can definitely do it within three days and I'm really happy that we're doing three days here and then we're hopping to Monopoly for three other days let's go oh my gosh this looks so good Today is our last day in Polignano. In Polignano. 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 I can't say it. This is our last morning in beautiful Polignano. I think that's how you put it. Polignano. But we are packing up the Airbnb and it is around 9 a.m. We're checking out at 10 and we are leaving for Monopoly, which is about a 15 minute train ride. It's not too far. We'll be in the next city for three days. So we'll have even more of Puglia, Italy. Monopoly will be the next vlog. I will have this. So this is where we're ending this one. But thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate it. If you guys could subscribe and like this video, that would be amazing. And comment your favorite part of the vlog. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next one. See you in Monopoly. Bye y'all.